Today on Cruise Man's Garage, we're installing these super cool sequential turn signals from add-on accessories. Here's a list of tools required to install the sequential turn signals. And this video was sponsored by Add-on Accessories. For more detailed instructions on how to remove and disassemble your rear view mirrors, check my 2018 Plus Honda Goldwing maintenance videos. The first step is to remove your rear view mirrors. You do this by folding the mirrors toward the rear of the bike as shown. Remove the 5mm Allen bolt from the underside of the mirror assembly. You can now remove the mirror arm panel as shown. Fold the mirror back into position to reveal the two 8mm bolts that hold the mirror assembly in place. Use an 8mm socket to remove these two bolts. Make sure to be holding onto the mirror assembly before removing the last bolt so that the mirror doesn't fall off. Lift up on the small tab that holds the connector together and pull out on the connector to remove it from the motorcycle. After removing the mirrors, place them on a soft surface so that they don't get scratched during disassembly. Remove the mirror glass by pulling out on the bottom edge of the mirror to release the clips. There are two tabs that hold the top part of the mirror into the assembly. You'll notice two wires connected to my mirror glass. That's because I have the Muth mirrors installed with the turn signals built in. If you have the factory mirror glass, you will not have those wires. Remove this cable retainer by pushing on the sides of those tabs and pushing it through the hole to release it. Use a small screwdriver or a pick to punch in on the center of this body clip and then carefully uh, pry it out with a tool. Just be careful not to scratch your paint. Use a Phillips or JIS screwdriver to remove these two self-tapping screws. With those screws removed, you can now remove the black bezel from the mirror housing. There are two additional self-tapping screws that hold the mirror mechanism into the painted surface. These need to be removed as well. Make note that these screws are larger than the first two screws we removed. You can now lift the mirror mechanism away from the mirror housing and what's left is the light assembly and now we can remove the turn signal light from the mirror housing. You'll find another self-tapping screw near where the wires go into the lamp assembly. Go ahead and remove that self-tapping screw. Now you can remove the turn signal lamp from the housing. Here are all the fasteners that were removed in the order of their removal from left to right. You'll notice the first two screws are smaller than the last three screws. The replacement sequential turn signal assembly with daytime running lights is virtually identical to the factory OEM light and it fits right into the housing as shown. Make sure to route the connector through the slot in the mirror housing. Attach the new lamp assembly using one of the larger self-tapping screws that we removed earlier. Now reinstall the mirror mechanism using the other two larger screws that we removed earlier. Reset and replace the body clip that we removed earlier. Replace the mirror glass and reinstall the mirror assembly on the motorcycle. And don't forget to reattach the mirror arm panel. These sequential turn signals from add-on accessories really enhance the look of the 2018 Plus Honda Goldwing. And they are truly plug and play.
If you enjoyed this video, please take a second to give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to click the subscribe button and that little bell icon so YouTube will notify you of new videos when they become available.